Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, before we get into anything or this video, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone that's subscribed, that's supporting the channel. Uh, it's much appreciated. Uh, I'm going to try and get more content out there um, as we roll forward with it. A little bit time constricted at the moment, but we will get there hopefully. Um, so thumbs up to everyone, everybody that's, uh, that's still supporting me and still hanging in there. Okay, uh, this van started life, as I say, as a panel van, a uh, 17 plate, high line, uh, DSG, um, 150 brake, uh, it's got, because it's the high line spec, it's got quite a few extras, um, when I bought the van, um, it was at 147,000 on the clock, which people say for the 17 play van that's all. Uh, these vans run for 300,000 miles. So that did not bother me. But when I got the van back, um, the first jobs I did on it was a water pump, uh, cam belt change, full service, DSG service, DSG collaboration of the box. Um, I took it to um, my local VW dealer and they done a 126 point check um, told me what I needed to do uh, all of it's been done uh, I'll pop some photos in now these videos on the channel have it all been done and if there's anything you want to know regarding pricing or where I got some of these items pop back and watch the video of what you're interested in and the link is in that description uh, if that makes it easy for you about the van let's have a walk around uh, I'll have a chat to you about what I've done and how I've done it and uh, let's do it eh? okay guys apologies about the road noise I hope you can still hear me. Starting here. 20 inch Range Rover alloys with a five mil spacer. This was one of the recommendations from um, VW when I took it to the garage. New pads, uh, new pads, new discs, uh, and the tires. That's my tire size. It's not been lowered at all. This is standard, a standard uh, height, road height for the van. I think it sits all right. It drives nice, so I'm leaving it like that. <laughs> I fitted the rail and the top rail. I fitted these, this is a fake one. This is a proper one, obviously, with a window. And sound deadened all the parts I could have deadened. But we'll talk about that in a bit inside have a quick look round I added the decal here I did the black splitter I did the black badge and I had all these black bits painted Every wheel got done, every um, disc and brake pads all round, not just the back. I added the wing deflectors. Again, this one's a fake one, that one's a proper one for the door. And round the back, these two and proper windows. And an anti-scratch mat there with a black badge. There's the van, okay, let's have a look inside. Before we go inside, I just wanted to pop the uh, the bonnet and show you the engine. Nice and clean. This is a part of this. This is a 240 hookup. It needs to be mounted there on the side of this panel. Uh, that is probably my last job I've got to do on the van, to be honest. This red lead here is for the split charger. So I'll show you that in uh, in a second. It's all fused up down there. 
to the battery. This runs to a consumer unit under the seat, which we'll get to. Obviously an engine bay. Okay guys, we're inside the van. It is a captain's seat. DSG box, like it says, heated front seats, heated driver seat, air conditioning, uh, rear, um, not rear camera, but rear parking sensors with this unit. Uh, I've got this on. I believe everybody should have one of these if they've got a van. Uh, dash cam fitted, hardwired, comes on and off with the van. Nice and clean dash. This has got the start stop technology, but I have actually had that mapped out. Uh, not a massive fan, to be honest. Um, moving down, we've got mats in. Across here, let's pull the seat up. Amples of space underneath there. There's nothing under there regarding electrical equipment or chargers or batteries or anything like that. This seat is actually a free seat. Uh, I was going to make it a swivel, but in the end, I'm not going to do it one end. No. So I was going to make it a swivel, but now I've uh, I fitted the fold down front seat. We'll go in the back in a sec. I fitted the fold down front seat. More load space here. Um, it is possible to fit a swivel seat. I just, uh, this is not one being fitted. Okay, we'll put that back up in a sec. Uh, it has got a diesel heater fitted under the van, connected to the diesel tank. There's a video for that uh, on the channel. This here is a main switch, turn this on. And this turns all the 12 volt uh, in the back, the lights, etc., etc., in the back. But we'll talk, we'll talk about that and the pod as we move around there. Okay, guys, uh, under the chair here, I should have mentioned it. Um, this is a switch to 10 or 12 watt on, like I've said. Under the chair here, we have got a... Switch that on. Yeah, it's on, yeah. We have got a um, inverter. We've inside there, I'll take a picture inside there, it's too dark. But there is a consumer uh, unit for the 240, which has also got attached to it a battery charger. Uh, so when you're on shore power, uh, it charges a leisure battery and a CTEC charger, which can also take a solar panel on the roof. Uh, on, turn that off. This also, this switch here, also turns it off. Turns it all off. This keeps all, when I'm not using anything in the back, this turns it all off. Um, so it don't drain my leisure battery. Okay, guys. All works. This is a pod, uh, I made this pod myself. Uh, the reason why I made a pod, I've actually made it to be removable. I wanted the full width uh, rock and roll bed. Um, I don't believe it's comfortable to sleep two people on a, um, a three quarter one. Um, but I might be wrong, um, but I just wanted the full width one. I'll show you that uh, working in a second. But the pod, I actually made the van quite versatile. Um, I made the pod to be removed. It removes four screws underneath inside there. I'll show you that in a sec. And all you do is just unplug both of them. 
them labelled up. One of them's for the 12 volt. One of them's for the 240 hookup, which I showed you under the bonnet, so that's that. And these have got their own individual. That's for the USBs here. That turns them on and off. That one. And then this is for a TV. This is for a fridge. And this is for the water pump. Let's go back to the TV. The TV is this one, which pop a 12 volt TV in there and you put it up on top on the back seat. This one is for a fridge, which is a little 12 volt fridge that normally goes here. Take it in and out, very versatile. And this one's for the fresh water pump, which is inside here, which has never been used. Switch the switch on. Probably hear it. Off. There's no water. There's no water in there. Single um, hob burner, sink, and because of the limited amount of space and work surface, I fitted this, which pops up. It kind of like gives you a lot more room. On the cupboards and there is the grey water and the fresh water it's a bit dark in there grey water and fresh water but my gas how I work the gas is I've got one of these attached to the gas line which is just a simple um, screw on canister um, small canister uh, I'll put a picture in there for you um, screws onto there it's quite ample for a few days camping uh, and you, you can just unscrew them, screw a new one on uh, and you can get them from anywhere to be fair so that's the cupboard that's the pod as I say this pod just down there in the four corners crosses off in the four corners four screws and it removes It removes, so it gives you all the space back in the van if you're using it for something other than camping or a day van, etc. Very versatile. This is the diesel eater. Um, I popped it here because it's uh, handy to get to while you're in, uh, in the bed situation, up and down with the heat. And the duct is right there. I put the duct there because it can also, this cupboard can also flip over it and the duct, the hot air can be vented, can be vented down the back of the cupboard or at the side, um, very versatile, just with a couple of holes and a couple of, and a bit of ducting, which I've not got round to sorting out. Them are the lights. And this is the light switch. The reason why I went for these lights is because they are movable. And if you've noticed where they're mounted, they're mounted on the side of the van, not the roof. Uh, I wanted it like that because of a possible uh, pop top being fitted. Uh, don't have to mess with the electrics. Lights are still working perfectly. They're, they're very movable. And have them where you want. This, when I carpeted the van, it's all, it's all sound deadened, it's all uh, insulated behind here, uh, insulated behind here, uh, fitted the T6 there, logo, and on that side, the VW logo. And I did that, uh, there's a video on me doing that on a um, Ford Custom. I'm gonna take a look at that video. Right, the bed. I'll actually show you this bed now, how it goes up and down and uh, what it looks like. There's a quick demonstration on the bed. Remove the cushions. The armrests. Got it all in? Yep. All this lever there. Cross, cover. So, 
He runs away from it all. Into the bed. Okay, bed's all sorted. Full width rock and roll bed. Uh, I showed you making the bed, but you can get to the heater there. USB sockets there. And a light switch there. Obviously the blackout curtains all around. Okay. Hey guys, so show you what doing back. You see down there, put your foot on this. You see down there? Yeah. Put your foot on that to push back. Bed back in position, done. Okay guys, I showed you the bed. I'd like to show you this. It's a pull of this lever here. I'm going to be able to pop this here and you'll be able to still see me do this. <laughs> pop this. And this just pops. Back up. We are to do with one hand. It's the simple. Ooh. Bit of a tug and that'll pop drop the seat pull it again pop it back up more room as i say it's very versatile van this fully removable by just two plugs down there and then them can just be tucked back at the side of the seat uh, you ain't going to use them this obviously comes out the eater you can still use while that's out and if we pop around this side obviously the lights you can still use up the back This is on its own little switch, on and off. Because this one you can still use um, when the pod's missing. When you take the pod out, it's not being used. This one's like at the back. Plenty of storage underneath the bed. This could also be removed, this panel, and put on some hinges uh, if it's better. But it is MLT tested, this bed. Uh, I have got the paperwork for it. All the curtains are fixed, blackout, all the way around. That window, and if we shut that. That window. I have also got One covers for this window. That's why them press studs are there. Press stud there. Press stud there. And the driver's side window and this window, which are magnetic. As I say, everything in this seat here, um, it's just it is removable. Uh, it's, there's nothing in there regarding electrics or anything that stay, um, has to stay there. This can be made into a swivel seat quite easily. The matching upholstery, this is matching upholstery that is to this. I wanted it like that. Guys, that is pretty much it for the van. Um, No shot. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Um, anything I've missed, uh, pop your questions in the comments below. Uh, I'm gladly answer your questions. I think I've gone over everything. Please give the video a like and a thumbs up. Um, I'm not a professional video photographer, uh, so it's just with me phone. But I appreciate you watching, I appreciate you sticking with me. Uh, thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in the next one.